What's up everybody? Today, the day this video is going up is Tuesday, the day before Ash Wednesday, the first day of Lent. So if you are watching this video on this day, you, along with many others, myself included, might be last minute putting together your Lenten resolutions. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So if you're watching and you don't know what Lent is, Lent is the 40 days between Ash Wednesday and Holy Thursday, which comes right before Good Friday and then Easter. The purpose of Lent is to prepare oneself and purify oneself to form a closer relationship with Christ by getting rid of some aspects that may distract them or draw them away from that relationship and incorporating some aspects of their life that will improve and deepen that relationship. And this isn't supposed to be like one of those 40 day summer six pack challenges where you loosely follow the workouts every day, feel somewhat accomplished, and then go do a 10 day ice cream challenge afterwards. The hope is that you develop positive habits and perspective that become a part of your lifestyle and help you to more closely follow Christ moving forward. So to do this, people come up with resolutions during Lent. And these resolutions can be divided into three categories. Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. We'll start with the most common one, which is fasting. Now we've all heard the general Lent question, what are you giving up for Lent? That's basically what fasting means, to abstain from something. And it could really be anything, but if you choose to fast from something, choose something that it is both challenging to give up, and something that might distract you from your relationship with Christ. For example, a lot of people give up chocolate or junk food. Now, if you eat a lot of that regularly, that might be a good thing to give up to, you know, eat cleaner and keep your body healthier. But if you maybe eat chocolate once or twice a week, and it's not even a regular part of your lifestyle, you're not really making a significant difference. And I mean, Jesus died on the cross for you, and all you can do is stop eating cookies. Come on. In all seriousness, fasting is supposed to be a sacrifice. The point is to sacrifice something physical, some material, earthly happiness, to make room for the happiness that comes with a relationship with Christ. So maybe try giving up social media, or Netflix, or some type of music you listen to that doesn't have the most positive lyrics, or maybe excess shopping, or overeating, or even some things that you do that you probably shouldn't be doing anyways, like swearing, or smoking, or drinking, whatever you choose. Try to pick something that's both challenging and will also allow you more time for prayer and more focus on Christ. As much as people focus on giving up things for Lent, you can also certainly do something during Lent, and that will bring us to our second category, which is prayer. Now this can be a challenge for you if you want it to be, but it certainly doesn't have to be. I find for myself the most effective form of prayer is what I feel most comfortable with. So, say you decide to say the rosary every day, but you know that you can't really put your focus into that many Hail Marys, and it's not really going to give you that meaningful prayer? Try something else. And there are so many ways you can engage in prayer, too. Maybe it's reading the Bible every day. Maybe it's singing and playing Christian music, or spending quiet time in reflection or in nature, or saying your favorite prayer every day. Whatever it is, as long as you're taking time out of your day to feed your faith and grow your personal connection with Christ, you're doing it right. So we've talked first about improving yourself by getting rid of something, then second, improving yourself by doing something, and now finally, giving back to others, and we call that almsgiving. Now this could be a monetary gift, which is generally what the word is associated with, but it could also be a gift of time, talent, or love. This could be anything from volunteering at a shelter every week, to tutoring people in school, or even simple things like smiling at people in the hallways, or writing kind notes to people every day. Basically, the purpose of this is to give of yourself to make others' lives better. And not just out of your spare time or of your surplus, but to go out of your way and to make a conscious effort to help someone and make them happier. So in summary, you can give of yourself for your personal betterment, fasting. You can give of yourself for others' betterment, almsgiving. And you can do something for yourself to deepen your faith through prayer. You can do one of each of these, or you can just pick one or two. Whatever the case, and whatever you choose, remember that the ultimate goal and purpose is to grow spiritually and deepen your relationship with Christ. And with that being said, I wish you guys the best with your Lenten resolutions. If you found this video helpful, I'd love for you to share it with your friends and family. If you came across this video and it's after Ash Wednesday and you never really made a resolution, you're thinking it's too late, it's never too late. Unless it's Easter Sunday. But hey, anytime is a great time to make a difference in your life and grow your faith. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.